Hello dear students in this chapter in rhino land we have already covered up with the section 1 that means in the previous video we have finished up with the explanation of rhino describing about herself her daughter and kaziranga national park that was section a which was covered in two parts now in part 3 we will cover up with the section 2 that means in section 2 there is a boy whose name is adil and he is writing a letter to his close friend whose name is samir and describing about the kaziranga national park so now let us first finish up with the reading of section 2 and then i will explain to you all the section 2 of this chapter in rhino land dear samir what a treat i had this winter mom and dad organized a trip to kaziranga national park in assam and i saw the most amazing wildlife deer sambar elephants water buffalo a rock python and even the most famous greater one horned rhinoceros it was an ancient looking majestic creature weighing over 1600 kg and was taller than dad i was amazed by its thick brown folded skin and its single horn i felt as if i had walked into a film set of some prehistoric era movie in fact we spotted a mother rhinoceros with her calf soon the two entered the river nearby and began swimming with wild abandon it was a warm day and i learned that rhinos spend most of the day lying in pools and rivers the tour guide informed us that they are excellent swimmers and can even run very fast up to 55 km per hour that is faster than our jeep was going the rhinos also kept making sounds and the guide told us that this was a bleat and that was a squeak or a grunt or a roar he stressed that rhinos are very vocal and make at least 10 different sounds for different emotions but i have to say that all the sounds they made seemed much the same to me i hope you will be able to see this fascinating creature sometime soon the greater one horned rhinoceros is listed as a vulnerable species because of excessive hunting and poaching fortunately national parks such as kaziranga ensure that the endangered and vulnerable animals have a safe natural habitat this particular park spreads over more than 400 square kilometers and naturally we could not see the entire place mom explained that it has been declared a world heritage site by unesco i later read that in 1904 mary cousin 
the wife of George Curzon, who was Viceroy of India at the time, wanted to see the rhinoceros that this place was famous for. And she couldn't spot a single one. She then persuaded her husband to ensure that the wildlife is protected. Thanks to all these efforts, the park now has the world's largest population of one horned rhinoceroses. We spotted our first ones within an hour's drive. It seems strange to be back now in this concrete jungle after taking in all the sights and sounds of wildlife in the park. I want to go there again soon, maybe to a different part of the park. And maybe you can join us next time. Yours affectionately, Adil. Explanation of Section 2 Dear Samir, what a treat I had this winter. Now here, a boy is writing a letter to his friend whose name is Samir. He is saying that the winter was really very amazing. Why it was amazing? Because mom and dad organized a trip to Kaziranga National Park in Assam. Now here, Adil is saying that his parents had planned a trip to Kaziranga National Park which is located in Assam. And I saw the most amazing wildlife. He is saying that when he visited over there, he saw the wildlife which was very amazing, which was wonderful. He saw deer, sambar, elephants, water buffalo, a rock python and even the famous greater one-horned rhinoceros. He is mentioning all the animals whichever he had seen in the Kaziranga National Park. And he was really very amazed when he saw the one-horned rhinoceros. It was an ancient looking majestic creature weighing over 1600 kg and was taller than dad. Now here Adil is describing about the rhino in his letter which he is writing to his friend Samir. He is saying that it was really very amazing and it its weight was about 1600 kg and he is also saying that that rhinoceros was taller than his dad. I was amazed by its thick brown folded skin and its single horn. Now here Adil is saying that he was amazed, he was very much surprised by seeing the rhinoceros that it had a thick brown folded skin and a single horn. I felt as if I had walked into a film set of some prehistoric era movie. Now here Adil is saying that he felt that he has entered some film city where the shooting used to go on. Okay, and that also from prehistoric era. That means from ancient times, olden days. In fact, we spotted a mother rhinoceros with her calf. That means he said that they had seen a mother rhinoceros with her calf. Soon the two entered the river nearby and began swimming with wild abandon. Now what is the meaning of with wild abandon? It means without caring about anything. Now here 
आदिल इज सेइंग दैट दे बोथ एंटर्ड इनटू अ रिवर एंड दे वर एंजॉयिंग द स्प्लैश ऑफ वाटर दे वर एंजॉयिंग द कूलनेस ऑफ वाटर इट वाज अ वार्म डे एंड आई लर्न दैट राइनोस स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ द डे लाइंग इन पूल्स एंड रिवर्स आदिल सेड दैट इट वाज अ वार्म डे and he also observed that rhinos feel very hot so they love to enter into a river to enjoy the coolness to make them cool by uh, playing in water and setting themselves in the water the tour guide informed us that they are excellent swimmers and can even run very fast up to 55 km per hour that means adil is saying that the tour guide who was present in the kaziranga national park had guided them that the rhinos are an excellent swimmers and they can run very fast up to 55 km per hour that is faster than our jeep was going he is saying that the rhino can run even very fast as compared to the jeep the rhinos also kept making sounds and the guide told us that this was a bleat and that was a squeak or a grunt or a roar that means adil says that the tourist guide informed that the rhinos can make different types of sound like bleat now what is the meaning of bleat bleat means sound of a sheep squeak what is the meaning of squeak a short high noise that is not very loud then grunt what is the meaning of grunt to make a short low sound in the throat that means he stressed that rhinos are very vocal and make at least 10 different sounds for different emotions he says that the tourist guide forcibly said that rhinos can make at least 10 different types of sound according to their emotions but i have to say that all the sounds they made seemed much the same to me now here adil is saying that whatever sound the rhinos made were all alike i didn't found any much difference in between the sounds i hope you will be able to see this fascinating creature sometime soon now what is the meaning of fascinating fascinating means attractive now adil is saying to his friend samir that i hope soon you will be able to see this wonderful creature wonderful attractive creature and who is the wonderful creature the one horned rhinoceros the greater one horned rhinoceros is listed as a vulnerable species now what is the meaning of vulnerable vulnerable means weak and easy to hurt physically or emotionally species because of excessive hunting now what is the meaning of excessive excessive means too much of hunting and poaching fortunately national parks such as kaziranga ensure that the endangered and vulnerable animals now what is the meaning of endangered and vulnerable animals animals that are at the risk of becoming extinct that means one day they will be at the end have a safe natural habitat now what is the meaning of natural habitat the natural environment in which an animal lives now here adil is mentioning this problem 
of becoming extinct of vulnerable species that means he is saying that the vulnerable species who is one horn rhinoceros is coming to an extinct that means they are coming to an end because of hunting because poachers are hunting them for their horns but in kaziranga national park they are totally safe this particular park spreads over more than 400 square kilometers now here he is saying that the park area of the park is more than 400 kilometers square kilometers and naturally we could not see the entire place and he also says that he can't see the entire place at a time mom explained that it has been declared a world heritage site by unesco I later read that in 1904 Mary Curzon the wife of George Curzon who was viceroy of India at the time wanted to see the rhinoceros that this place was famous for Now here we can see that Adil read something why he read because he had an interest about knowing Uh, about rhinoceros more so he was gathering an information about them so he is saying that in 1904 mary curzon now who is mary curzon mary curzon is the wife of george curzon who was viceroy of india and at that time that mary curzon wanted to see rhinoceros so she visited this place to see the rhinoceros and she couldn't spot a single one but she was unable to see even a single rhinoceros she then persuaded her husband now what is the meaning of persuaded made someone do something by giving good reasons she persuaded her husband she told her husband to look after the wildlife make sure that they are protected that the animals are not harmed by the people thanks to all these efforts the park now has the world's largest population of one horned rhinoceroses now here adil is mentioning that due to all these efforts by government and indian army and many more things laws rules and regulations now the rhinoceroses are safe and now they are not hunted poachers are unable to do so we spotted our first ones within an hour's drive that means adil is saying that he had seen the very first rhinoceros within an hour It seems strange to be back now in this concrete jungle after taking in all sights and sounds of wildlife. Now what is the meaning of concrete? Real or definite? Not only existing in the imagination. I want to go there again soon. Now Adil is eager to visit again the Kaziranga National Park to see the rhinoceros maybe to a different part of the park now he is saying that he was unable to visit the whole park at once so he is saying that he want to visit the Kaziranga National Park again and he will visit the different part of park which he had not seen and maybe you can join us next time yours affectionately adil adil is saying that maybe most probably you will be also coming along with me and we will have a lot of fun over there